In this video, we're going to have a look at these micro COB LED strips. Now these can either be attached to the shrouds around the side here or on the top as I've done here, and they're quite flexible. So let's take a look at on the bench and see how we go about it. And what we have here is an, a special very lightweight mounting board. This mounting board here is made from FR4 fiber board. I'll put a link to that in the description down below. So on top of that mounting board, we've of course got the receiver and more importantly, uh, in front of that, we've got the voltage regulator. Now this is a voltage regulator. It goes from one, uh, 1S to 6S voltage and it brings it down to 3.3 volts. Uh, but more importantly, the output is capable, it's capable of 1.5 amps on the output. Okay, so that's the setup there. And I'll put a link to that uh, voltage regulator down below as well. So how we're gonna wire this up, we're gonna use this very thin, very lightweight 30 AWT silicon wire. We'll just have a look at this. Okay, so this is about the, the lightest silicon wire you can get. We're going to use that. And we're going to wire up the miniature COB LED strips. And these have got uh, one pole on each end, positive and negative on each end. So we're going to, what I'm going to try to do is I think put these around the edge like this. Okay, we'll go for this sort of uh, configuration. Okay, so to do that, what we're going to need is we're going to need two trace wires for the positive and two trace wires for the negative coming off the voltage regulator there and they're going to run out to the LED strips on the end. From the positive and negative terminal we need to run two sets of trace wires so we're just going to twist them together. We just twist the wires together and tin them and then trim off the excess. Okay, so for this we're going to have the, the positive wires and negative wires both going out different directions. So the positive wires here are going to go out the front way and they're going to connect to one end of the COB LEDs and the negative wires are going to go out the opposite direction and connect at the other end. Okay, so these miniature cob LEDs don't actually have any double-sided tape on them. So we're going to use two methods. I'm going to use one method on one side and another method on the other side of the quad. And the first method is using Blenderm surgical tape. This is 3M Blenderm tape. And the other one is the B7000 glue. So let's have a look at that. So with the Blenderm tape, we're just going to need some really, really fine strips and we'll use them just to wrap them around these shrouds. There we go. Now the next method, and the method I prefer, is to actually glue them on. But because these are made with silicon rubber, we're going to have to just use a little bit of sandpaper and rough up the edge that we're going to glue before we glue it. Let's have a look at that. So here I'm using 240 grit sandpaper, and I'm just going to, on one side of the LED strip, just give it a, a very gentle rub, just to roughen the surface up a little bit, all the way along. And this, it won't make the LED any duller on this side. It'll still shine bright, so don't worry about that. There we go. Okay, method two is using the B7000 glue. So this is just a, a sticky contact uh, glue. We're just going to put a little bit around the frame and let it dry a little bit, and then we're going to attach the LEDs to it. Solder the trace wires to the LEDs. Okay, so there we go. The build is completed. Have a little bit of a close-up look there. Okay, so this one here, if we have a look at the weight, first of all, so this is with a 300 milliamp hour battery. 
The all up weight comes in at around about 35 grams, so not a particularly light build, but uh, with this one I don't have an all-in-one board. I'm using a separate VTX as well as a separate receiver and the uh, voltage regulator and the LEDs. So if you want LEDs on the drone, that's what you need to do. Also, just uh, something about mounting the LEDs on the on the frame. This is a plastic frame. So I'll just have a look at this again. Uh, on this side here, you can see I've used a Blenderm surgical tape, uh, which is okay. It holds them in place, that's fine. On the other side here, I've actually used, uh, I end up using something called UHU Pour, and it's a foam glue. So it's one of those adhesive, the tacky foam glues, and had a lot more success with that than the B7000 that I was using. So there we go. A whoop with micro COB LEDs. Happy flying.